Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. Real quick video, I want to cover the axial filament. So the axial filament is a special type of flagella. As you can see here, it's called an endoflagella. Let's go ahead and get, just to move a little bit closer here. So the axial filament is a flagella that's attached on one end and then coils around the organism. So here's the key. So like other flagella, it's, it's used for movement, but um, it's only going to be found in your spirochete organisms. So the two key examples I'd want you to know would be uh, treponema pallidum, which is the causative agent of syphilis and Borrelia burgdorferi, the causative agent of Lyme disease. So what's cool about these, as you can see with this, uh, with arrow, is that a counterclockwise um, arrow here, the axial filament, when they contract, it actually causes the cells to spin. So I think of it like a drill bit. So this organism can basically drill itself forward or drill itself backwards by how this axial filament is contracting. So uh, here's an actual uh, picture of a treponema pallidum, the, the spirochete. So as you can see, this really cool corkscrew fashion, but um, like a corkscrew, um, they literally can drill themselves forward and and backwards as they're moving towards food or away from it, whatever. So, all right, back to that main picture here. So this is the axial filament, the special kind of flagella used for movement, only found in your spirochete organisms. Okay, have a wonderful day. Be blessed.